37 now. The holidays can be stressful with all those relatives under one roof. This morning we're getting five tips to avoid family conflict. Conflict, and Dr. Joe Siegler is a life coach. Good morning, doctor. Good to have you here this morning. Good morning, everybody. Now this first tip seems obvious, but but everybody does it. So I thought we'd throw it in. It is don't try to change someone. Well, the first thing we're going to talk about is how to manage the holidays. And so the first thing you got to do is take judgment out. Mm -hmm. because judgment's rooted in our own insecurity and it ruins the spirit of the holiday. Right. So the first thing is get that misconception out that that's the time to get into changing someone. Right. But what if they're a, they're a jerk? What if they're, they're the they're embarrassing member of the right. family right. and you right. feel like you've got to tell everybody, right. you know, Should warn you everybody or something? Right. Yes. Well, that's, it's a good one. What I say is expect them to be there. <laughs> but it's not the place for conflict resolution. Okay. It's the place for people to celebrate together and get along. If you have a beef with someone, uh, or two other people have a beef, tell them to do it before the holiday or after the holiday. I totally disagree with you, but let's go on with point number two. <laughs> All right. Respect the gift giver. What does that mean? Well, gift givers are holy. Whoever gives a gift, whether expensive or inexpensive, you respect the person who's given it. You appreciate it. It's really about gratitude. But some people have a problem with if someone gives you a more expensive gift and that kind of thing, it creates some tension and some pressure. Well, I'd say that's about your own ego. Right. You know, what you have to do is you have to appreciate a, a small gift or a big gift. You got and, that, Larry? Yeah. Or a gift in a really and, and bad also, color and the wrong size. And most people could relate to points in their life. Sometimes they've been out of work, don't have a lot of money. Other times they've been blessed and are making a lot of money can buy expensive gifts. Yeah. Okay. okay, you mentioned this a little bit. Try and reduce your conflicts before the holiday. Yeah, I, I have something called uh, my Teflon rule, even, is, is, that, is that plan to have the person who picks, uh, who pushes your buttons, mm -hmm. get ready for it, visualize it in your head, and make believe you're, you're made out of Teflon, and whatever they say to you is going to roll off. But when you say reduce, it ahead of, reduce that conflict ahead of time, do you mean have lunch a week before and say, listen, you know, let's not, let's try and resolve this you now? You could do it that way. Yeah. Say your mom always picks some sort of beef with you. You could take her out to dinner and say, Mom, the holiday's next week, so I want you to air your grievances tonight. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Tip four, don't take everything so personally. Well, I think it's really important. Again, it's, it's, it's the holidays, I say, are to be bigger than your own feelings. And so again, if you expect people to push your buttons, you could have a sense of humor and go, I knew you were going to push my button inside. And then you could laugh, wish them well, and then go talk to someone you really want to talk to. Yeah, they, they don't take with kindness. Any... Kill with kindness. That's they right. don't take it personally until after like the fourth or fifth drink. Right. That's <laughs> right. a big problem. And budget your calories, which is And budgeting about. drinking is very important. You know, in terms of, again, I think this forward planning of how much you're going to eat so that you're not overstuffed, how much you're going to drink, that's healthy, healthy for you. So either don't drink or figure out your top limit of amount of drinks and also your exercise plan. It's really important before the holidays to figure out how am I going to exercise so that I don't get as stuffed and my metabolic rate is increased and I could be healthy in my eating. And stress. Yeah. Yeah. And have fun is the key. Yeah. Have fun at the holidays. Right. So okay. my mother won't say, looks like you've gained a few pounds. Oh, <laughs> thank you. That's always a good one. Dr. Joseph, thank you, thank you very much. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.